I know you love your food. I'm not calling you a glutton you know, in front of everyone here. But what I'm saying is that you have an adventurous streak in your food choices. Sometimes you make good choices. Sometimes bad. And guess who is there to help you finish it when it is the latter, right? Like how I erase your bad choices in food by making them disappear into my tummy. From now on, I will be here to walk with you through rough patches in life. And if the food is good, I know you will still share with me, right? <laughs> Standing here with you today is a prayer come true. Despite uh, spending quite an amount of time apart, I have prayed daily for God to keep us together in our hearts, minds, and soul. If He meant for us to be together, and He has been faithful, because look where we are today. So I thank Jesus for His faithfulness, and I pray He will be with us as a couple to the end of the ages. I love you, Ivy. And I can only do it because Jesus has loved me first. For the most part of the past year, I have received much joy in getting to know Him. And because I delight in Him, He has fulfilled Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. He has added you onto my life. I pray that when one of us is weak, He will give the other strength to carry us through. I pray that His presence will always be with us. A round of applause. Hold your tears, everyone. <laughs>
that you long for a serious, long-term relationship that leads to marriage. And are you seriously courted me the way I wanted to be in a Filipino traditional way such as asking my parents, my brothers, permission first? You also intentionally find ways to get their consent by sending them private messages to my mom all the way to London and chasing my brothers for a late night day just to get to know me despite I prevented you in doing so while I was in overseas in London, in the Philippines and Singapore. It opened my heart and my eyes that made me genuinely fall in love with you. However, despite the efforts you made, my mind was still not convinced resisting my feelings for you. My impulsive persistent Previously, I was earnestly yearning for the many, many years for the tall, six foot term, Western, <laughs> Caucasian, English, Australian, new eyes, six foot abs, <laughs> talented, rich, and talented, of course, country nutrition. And every other typical girl's dreams of a single dream, hashtag fantasy versus reality. <laughs> I believe God has slapped me to be awakened from my perfectionism, wrong concept, and man's idea of choosing which type of person to love. And give me to heart, give me heart in, give my heart in. Whether I would choose a tall blue eyes Caucasian, not Christian, disrespectful, obnoxious only after with physical affection, or a small Asian, nerdy guy, respectful, full of wisdom, yet Christian and hungry to invest no more of God and serve God for the rest of his life. And that is you, my lady. With re recent realization, I thank God that he didn't allow me to choose a partner to marry based only with compatibility and emotions. I believe God has truly proven that if I wait and submit to the will of the Lord, he will not only provide someone that aren't compatible with me, but also suitable for me to fulfill cultivating the garden of Eden of my life and finally fulfilling his ultimate purpose in my life with someone who is same as you, my lady. You're ultimately great and excellent in everything you do. You are God-fearing, a leader, a responsible and reliable, intelligent, patient, respectful, kind, mature, generous, and very down to earth, very caring and loving. Your personality and appearance is just it's just only a bonus. You are the most handsome and foggy, even with and without your very thick nerdy glasses. <laughs> I have been praying for a confirmation from the Lord if you're really the right person to me, a marriage with you, to pursue a godly relationship with an ultimate goal of progressing a matrimony. God's idea of being united through marriage. However, he wasn't able to respond, to respond to me for many months. God was silent when I was in the midst of battling noise from the voice of the enemy. However, that didn't stop me from praying at all times and feeling me. Until eight months later, God spoke to me when I was praying, worshiping, and reading the Bible. You never know about this. Reading the confirmation with the verse, I have randomly wrote on my first gift to you. Do you remember that, baby? During the first Christmas gift since we first met, which is Psalm 115, verse 15, may you be blessed by the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. We have encountered roller coaster story, hurdles of challenges, especially with only three months of preparation of the wedding. We almost canceled five times <laughs> our wedding since from my dad's first visa refusal. My mom and my family's disagreements and our couple misunderstanding. And even me came up with my bursting with my mixed emotions that reached my breaking point with all the exhausting wedding preparations and I have organized everything, accelerating stress and many sleepless nights. However, we never give up and entertain the tactics of the enemy preventing our union for the cancellation of our wedding and our main aim here in the ceremony for the salvation of our family. But the love of our love, but our love together has been kept. And your so much love for me has kept us together. As the scripture said in John chapter 1, chapter 4, verse 19, 
We loved because he first loved us. I can't believe we are here, she said, and led to what we have been praying for so long, from one year of courtship personally, and one year to say I love you to you, virtually and personally, 17 miles away from London to Australia. From today, I can profess Psalms 115 verse 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm looking forward to a lifelong and blessed and favorable eternal marriage journey with you. We finally reached our couple goal destination from initially calling you Kuya, Big Brother, to Stranger, to Neighbor, to Sleepyhead, to Girlfriend, Boyfriend, Baby, and now as your neck getting longer due to waiting for so long more than a year to call you, now I can finally officially call you later on, <laughs> hobby. <laughs> Today in the presence in front of our family, of our guests, of our friends who, who came in here, I vow to serve Jesus, to serve you as my husband, to be the center of our family and a future family. I said to her that I dedicate myself to serve God, to dedicate my unborn children, and all generations in our marriage, bloodline, and offspring to love and wholeheartedly serve God for the rest of our lives. I would choose to love you now, every day, and for eternity. I appreciate you for everything you've done for me. I love you so much, baby, and I promise to be faithful and love you for the rest of my life. My group, I love you to the moon and back. Hashtag, I belong to German for eternity. <laughs> With so much love and adoration, your bride, Ivy, you are the girl. Yay! Okay. That's the shortest message because I know Ivy, I know him, I know him. Please make it short. That, that's, that's the shortest part. Okay. Sorry, guys, please. Yeah, yeah. I want to pray for you. Can, can you hold stand, please? Establish them in marriage, establish and sustain you, that you may find delight in each other and grow in holy love until life's end. O God, Creator, and the Father of us all, we thank you for the gift of life and in life the gift of marriage. Give them the strength, Father, to keep the vows that they have made, to cherish the love they share, that they may be faithful and devoted. Help them to support each other with patience, understanding, and honesty. Teach them to be wise and loving parents of the children they will have. Depend them from every evil that may threaten them from outside or within. Let your spirit so direct all of us that we may look to the good of others in word, in deed and grow in grace as we advance in years through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen. I would just like to call Pastor Craig. Thank you, Pastor Lotta. In just a couple of moments, we're at the end of the marriage ceremony. And just before we finish today, it's just so important for us to consider the reality of Jesus Christ. No one here today could fail to see how dedicated these two young people are to God. This dedication is not a thought process or a philosophy. It's something in their heart. In the world today, there are literally thousands and thousands of scientists who believe in biblical creation, who believe in Jesus Christ, that he rose from the dead. There are also thousands and thousands of scientists who are atheists. So from that conclusion, we understand it's not about your intelligence. It's not about how smart you are. It's about your heart. And Jesus loves you. 
Jesus died for you. And you and I needed that because one day we're going to leave this body, we'll pass away and we'll stand before Almighty God. And I've sinned, I've done wrong things. I've done things to hurt people, I've done things that hurt God. If God is righteous and just, He has to find me guilty. But He loved me and He loved you and He said, I don't want to punish you, I want you to be with me. So He punished His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus came, suffered on the cross, a terrible, agonizing death. He left His body and went down into hell three days and three nights and then he rose again from the dead triumphant over death over sin and now if anyone will believe in the Lord Jesus Christ they can receive forgiveness for all their sins some of you here today have already done that and now you are walking with Jesus as your Lord and Saviour you know him He's a real person to you, not a religious figure, but your God, your friend, your life giver. Some of you are yet to make that decision. And Jervon and Ivy said to me, please encourage, invite everybody here today to take that step of faith, to open your heart and say, Jesus, Please come into my life. Forgive my sins. Let me receive eternal life from you. If you want to do that today, if you've never taken that step, can I encourage you to pray a prayer like this? It just says, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Please forgive my sins. And be my Lord and Savior. He will come. And you will experience life, true life, heavenly and spiritual life. If you want to know more about it, talk to Jervon, Ivy, Pastor Walter, others here that you know are Christians. We can show you some great scriptures to help you understand. So, whoops, <laughs> today we have a beautiful couple before us. And congratulations on your life for God and your promises to each other. Now, Jervon and Ivy, because you have pledged your promise one to another and have confirmed the same by the giving and receiving of rings and the joining of hands, by the authority invested in me through Almighty God, I now pronounce you a husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Mr. and Mrs. Jerwan and Ivy Nye. Yeah.